All right, guys, top of the morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, we got some new faces on the call. So before we get rolling, before we get the meeting started, I want to do some official introductions to some first timers at the call. Uh, Catherine Cato, I wanted to go over to you really quick. I know you have a quick brief moment to go ahead and say hello. Introduce yourself and tell us why you decided to join forces with us. So let's go. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Catherine Cato. So sorry about that. I'm currently at work on a break right now. So excuse the background, but I just turned 22 years old, March 4th. Um, I've been in the real estate game for like a little over a year. Um, I sold one property. And the reason why I wanted to join Team Fast is because I feel like being a newer agent, you need like guidance, you need support, you need um, like a team base to hold you accountable to let you know, because not everyone knows what they're doing. So I feel like Kenny and Elias, they know what they're doing, and this is a winning circle. And when when people is around you winning, it just gives you like motivation to want to win and do more. So that's why I wanted to join Team Fast. Ooh, I love this! I love this. You guys, do me a favor. Um, you know, I'm I'm a little bit older. I'm 44 years old. What were you doing at 22 years old? Now, some of you that was just a few years ago, but what were you doing at 22 years old? Because I definitely wasn't, didn't have her mindset. I wasn't doing what she's doing right now. So if you can, drop down below what you were doing at 22 years old, if you would. I'd love to see you. Catherine Cato. Great to have you here. Do we have any other guests first time on the call that would like to, I was clubbing? Training for the Olympics. Okay. Okay. I, I see this. I see this. I love it. Uh, working in healthcare. Okay, cool. I was smoking a pack of menthol cigarettes a day smelling like whiskey um doing a little bit of snowboarding and all kinds of other things but uh nothing productive lessons <laughs> i love it i love it all right cool do we have any other guests on the line besides ophelia's mom that would like to say a quick hello michael mcintosh have you said hello to the team yet bro you want to grab the mic and say hello and introduce yourself and tell us where you're at and why you chose to join our team hello michael mcintosh uh i live in pingrove california north north side of petaluma um real estate something i've wanted to do for a long time um i worked my way up in the corporate world and i found myself in a position where i wasn't going to be able to see my family for five days a week hmm. monday through friday uh that was my main push to get into real estate i originally saw the the big overall picture behind everything uh Looked around, found Team Fast, and this is where I wanted to be when I started. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, brother. Well, it's great to see. Is, is Champ really your middle name, or is this you just put that on the screen? Uh, so that's from my Facebook profile. Okay. Most of my family, <laughs> anybody that knows me directly through my family or has known me since a kid kind of knows me as a... Perfect. Well, I love it. I love it, bro. Well, welcome. Great to have you. If you guys know or don't know where Penn Grove is, that's up in Sonoma County. Um, so if you guys have anybody that's looking up in that market, please reach out to him, reach out to Eric, but good stuff. Uh, let's go, Raj. Raj, you want to say a quick hello to everybody? Let us know why you joined the team. Great to have you, Michael. Great to have you, Catherine. Let's go, Raj. Hi, everyone. I'm Raj. Yeah. So I joined like two weeks ago. Um, so I've been wanting to be in real estate for the last 15 years. So I just never got to it. So now I feel like it was the time. So I needed to be here because this was my dream job, actually. This is, I always wanted to be. I always used to go for open houses. But then, so I'm in, now I'm in T-Fast and I love it. The training, the, the way they talk, the love, everything. I just enjoy it. I enjoy the meetings, everything, meeting Elias, everyone else. I can't explain the feelings. It's well, really awesome. Thank I'm you. so glad you chose us. And you guys might recognize Raj. If you ever got a speeding ticket and had to go to person <laughs> driving school in the Dublin area, aka uh, you got your ass in trouble. Liz <laughs> knew her from her driving school, but it's really good to have you on the team. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your contribution. You. Um, and you know, thanks for coming out last week. Let's go over to Karina. Karina is gonna take it over, do their quick teaching moment of the morning. So let me turn the mic over to our Oracle. Karina. All right, today is fun with AVIDs. That's your agent visual inspection disclosure. So a few things that have come up over the last week. Uh, one, when two agents from the same brokerage partner on a transaction, you can share one AVID. 
Both people need to sign, both people should take notes, but it's okay to just use one. If the file is co-brokered, meaning more than one brokerage, each agent will need to do their own AVID for their broker. Um, the AVID basically functions as a disclosure. It's also protection for the agent against future claims from either party about the visual condition of the home. Be sure to note any physical defects, not improvements. Do not use qualifiers to diminish or exaggerate, like something is of small or not a big deal or whatever. You're trying to stay neutral and descriptive. Remember that it's only what's readily visible. You're not crawling into crawl spaces. You're not climbing on the roof. It's just what you can see as you're walking through room by room. Uh, if there is more than one unit, like a duplex or an ADU, you want to do an AVID for each unit. And then the listing agent visual inspection is part of the seller's TDS. Most brokers do require that the AVID is used, although there is a place where you can make notes directly on the TDS if you wanted to. Without completing section three of the TDS, the seller's disclosures are not complete. So as a listing agent, you wanna make sure you complete your AVID as soon as possible, ideally prior to sending out any disclosure packages, definitely before a buyer removes the seller documents contingency, or the buyer may take an additional five days to review whatever is on your AVID and that TDS. On the buy side, the buyer should have their AVID completed prior to the buyer removing their investigation contingency. If you're presenting a contingency-free offer, you should present your AVID with your offer. The buyer's agent is not a contingency, so it's important to get any items addressed before you remove that contingency for the buyer, um, because otherwise it's after the fact and you've noted it and the buyer's upset about it, but they don't have any recourse because they don't have an investigation contingency. So let me know if you have any questions. That's the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six topics about the AVID. Let me know, thanks. Beautiful, appreciate that. You guys, let's do a quick check-in. Obviously we're two and a half months into the new year. And whether you're driving, you see this down the road, or if you have the ability to write this down right now, and I encourage you to check in with yourself and with your business. And here's what I want you to do. First off, write down branding and marketing. And all I want you to do is say what's working and what's missing. Just do yourself a, you know, the justice of doing a quick brain down. Lead generation, what's working for you right now and what's missing. If you can add a pillar, whether it's social media, whether it is door knocking, whether it is open houses, what's working and what's missing. And then lastly, for your systems, what's working for you right now and what's missing? Is it the calendar? Is it the CRM? I don't know. We're all at different stages in our business, but this is the time where we need to check in and make sure that things are running and are operating smoothly. And if you need additional support and additional help, feel free to grab my calendar. Let's hop on a call and I can help you with any one of these categories. So let's get right into our meeting slides for the week. I'm gonna go boom, bam. Sure. All right, cool. So let's get right into this. All right. So we have a festive theme for St. Patrick's Day. And let's get right into this. Oh, wait a minute. Present. Boom. Full screen. Present. All right, guys, let's roll. All right. So welcome to all of our folks that are here every single week. Welcome to our new people. And let's go to our community contributions. Obviously, tons of things going on. Shout out to Blessing. I know she had an event last week seeing all kinds of educational events, fun events, uh, things that are happening in our community. Who has an event coming up that they'd like to talk about, like to share, drop some information right now on the call. Anybody have anything that is coming up? Let's go Joellen, and let's go Vernon, let's go Sierra, and whoever else is in the queue. Let's go Joellen. Yeah, I have an event uh, this Saturday, El Dorado Hills, um, on declutter, downsizing, uh, get in your home ready for spring market. And then we also have an event. It's a Shamrock uh, Vendor Fair in Cameron Park that I'll be hosting a table there with Casa. And that's from nine to about one o'clock. They'll have all kinds of vendors and food. So that's in Cameron Park. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, while you're here and while you're off of mute, do you want to share with the group what happened to you and Will yesterday? Yesterday, Will and I signed a listing for an assisted living community, 36 beds for $12.5 million. Wow. So uh, I met this gentleman in my rotary. So he's a Rotarian and we've been working on it for about three months. He had some challenges that he's been going through and we were able to overcome 
um, you know, some of those challenges and come up with a plan. But with me having a background in assisted living and knowing the pain points of uh, caregivers and how often they're sued and why they're sued really made me a strong person for the position. And then with Will having 20 plus years of commercial and builder development in the senior industry, it was just a win-win. So. Well, now, like you said, now, congratulations, right, Vernon? Uh, congratulations now. The hard work is going to start getting this thing sold. So um, you have all of our support. If you need anything from us, let us know. But congratulations on um, at least getting that first, uh, you know, stage completed. And you know what's really cool is because I built my, I built relationships in the senior care industry here already. So now I get to go to all those contacts to see who might be interested in buying. Love it. Love so, it. That's so cool. Thank you. So I can't wait to see more information on that. Congrats to you and Will. And if you can, please drop the link to your jacket because I'm sure there's people on the call right now that are curious to know where she got that jacket. Let's go to Vernon. Hey, congratulations, Joel. And man, it's good to see everybody's face. It's been a while for me. But this Saturday, March 16th, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., Lisette, myself, and Marcelina from The Money Store are hosting a casual conversation over coffee at the Quarters Coffee House on Mare Island, really talking about the California Dream for All program. And I'm sure we're all talking about that, but we wanted to do something a little different, a, little, a different setting. So if you're open and available, we're swiping our card. It's open tab of coffee and pastries at a beautiful commander's quarters um, in Vallejo on Mare Island. Should be nice. The weather's going to be about 67, 70 degrees. And we're going to chill in the lawn, have an informative educational conversation present some information to get the, as many folks educated uh, and aware of the possibilities in terms of not only California Dream for All, but all most down payment assistance programs uh, for first time home buyers. So we're excited. Hopefully you can join us. Um, and man, it's good to see everybody's face back in the flow. Man, I love this. And even if you just go, you support, you stop by, you get in the conversation and then go explore Bear Island. Vernon put me on two weeks ago and I was absolutely impressed. I stopped by that place to grab myself a coffee, shoot some content. So super stoked for you guys. Can't wait to hear all of the success from this event. Let's go Sierra, then we'll go Blessing, then we'll go Sack, then we'll go Catherine. Let's go Sierra. Good morning, guys. Um, I've got a plant swap that was rained out two weeks ago, so it's rescheduled for this coming Sunday, 12 to 3. Um, it's for neighbors and beyond, and it's at the Melrose Community Garden. I'm going to leave a flyer at the office, and you can bring pieces of plants. You can bring indoor, outdoor. It's for people to trade plants, and um, it should be super fun. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's it. I love it. And Sierra, um, shout out to you. We see how much you've been showing up on social media. I love what you're doing. I love the style of the videos. Um, I had a personal question. You brought me a begonia. How long does it take for that thing to start growing roots? You're going to see roots really soon. Uh, okay. I'd say you're going to start to see roots, especially because spring's coming. So plants are basically somewhat dormant in the winter, and then they just start going crazy in the spring. So you'll see roots in a week or two. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's go over to Blessing. Then we'll go Sack. And then we'll go Catherine. We'll keep this train moving down the tracks. Let's go Blessing. Happy Tuesday, everyone. So this is a shameless plug. It is not my event directly. But on Thursday in Brentwood at Liberty High School at 7 o'clock, our chosen youth basketball league is having their all-star basketball game for all divisions. So everyone from our kindergartners, um, all the way up to our high schoolers will be able to um, participate in um, all-star games. It's the first time we're doing it and the kids are super stoked. They played really hard this season. Um, yes, my son will be in it. My voice will probably be gone again, but if you are in the Brentwood area, Brentwood, Antioch, Oakley, it's a great event just to come out and support our kids. They really did play very hard this season. So um, again, Thursday, Liberty High School, seven o'clock, come all. That's right. That's right. And, you know, shout out to the parents out there that are sports parents. That's not an easy life. It is not an easy life. I got somebody, a, a son that's in T-ball, right? Or he's in, you know, coach pitch now, but that's literally three times a week. <laughs> it's three times a week. So I feel you blessing. Um, great job to your son. Let's go uh, Sack and then we'll go Catherine. Let's go Sacramento. What do we got going on? Hey, good morning, guys. So next Wednesday, March 20th, Maria and I are holding a wind down Wednesday 
Um, it's our second annual and um, it's going to be here at the staff office 530 to 8. We're also gathering donations for St. John's program for real change. They're um, a local women's shelter and they help like women in crisis get back into the workforce. So they're in need of um, business attire. So that's like, you know, clothing, accessories, bags, shoes, um, lightly used or new would be appreciated. If you guys have any, let me know. I'll put all the Eventbrite information on Slack today and it's also in my bio on Instagram. So I hope to see you guys there. I'll be making the charcuterie. We're gonna have, you know, free wine, snacks, music. You know, we're gonna all just get together. So I hope to see you guys there. God, I love what you guys are doing. I love your style of events and I love how you're bringing the community together. And I love the cause, the purpose, the crusade. So great stuff. Let's end with Catherine and we'll get right into new escrows for the week. Um, I just had a quick question. It's not about an event. Okay. If that's sure. okay. Go ahead. Um, so two questions. So can a residential agent be a commercial agent as well? Uh Karina, you want to adjust that one? Sort of. So EXP does not really like you to blur the lines on residential or commercial. Your license is good for residential or commercial. So mm -hmm. if you do have a commercial opportunity, it's best to check in with an EXP broker about it and or okay. partner with an experienced agent that already knows how to do commercial. Um, okay. That's one of the things they've suggested in the past is that two, two agents collaborate together. Okay, because it's like, I don't want to be a commercial agent, but I do want to learn how to do commercial deals in a way. So in case I do come across like a commercial deal, I am able to like facilitate that without, you know, going to like another agent. So I just want to see if that's a, something I'm able to learn or something like that. Why don't you tap in with me after this on the huddle um, okay. or I'll reach out to you directly. Okay, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Perfect. Um, so you guys, in regards to events, if you know somebody that owns a local coffee shop, somewhere cool, cool bar, like just a really, really cool, different type of space versus being in the office, um, let me know. Shoot me a message on Slack. We're going to be uh, seeing if anyone wants to do masterminds. Nothing too formal. We're going to be doing through Rolling Cities. Whoever wants to throw a mastermind, put some cool stuff together. So if you know some places or personally know some people that have a really cool venue that we can host an informal mastermind, shoot me a message because um, we want to put that on the calendar in the coming weeks. Let's get back into the slides. All right, guys, let's get right into new escrows for the week. Uh, Delaney got in contract for 215000 and Musa got in contract for 525000 both of them representing from the Sacramento office. Um, Dan, can you give me a thumbs up if Musa's in the office? I don't so just give me a thumbs up if he's there. Okay. All right, cool. Well, shout out to these two. Congratulations. Um, love what you guys are doing. Well, while you're here, Dan, Dan and Joseph Chin got in contract on a flex lead. So let's hear from you, Dan. Tell us a little bit about this deal, how long you guys nurtured this lead, how long did it take, what you saw on the market. Tell us about your strategy. Uh, so, so this is actually my first flex deal ever. Uh, first online lead for a company generated, uh, ironically enough, ever. But this was one, Joseph and Ronnie were working with this, this client up in San Francisco and San Jose. And they were trying to buy an investment property and just couldn't find anything in this price range. And so then they started talking with this client about uh, Sacramento. And so then he started looking out here and I've been boots on the ground. I actually met him for the first time when we toured the property that he was already in contract in. So it was all video tours. We just went around and did video tours for probably 20 plus properties for this guy all around Sacramento. And it was just like local, local Intel for, markets and rentals and, and all sorts of stuff. And, uh, Joseph and Ronnie were super great to work with. We went from looking at multifamily, like 1910s homes that needed uh, all sorts of fixing up and stuff to ultimately he got in contract on a brand new Taylor Morrison home in Elk Grove. So it was like a 180 degree shift for what he started looking at as an investment to what he ultimately got in contract on. So there's just a lot of like refining, 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 figuring out something that fit like what he wanted his investor experience to be like. And ultimately, new home, no capital expenditures, something super easy and passive was what made sense for him. So we just got him a new construction home. Beautiful. I love it. Well, congratulations to you. Congratulations to Jeff, Joseph. And it's cool seeing like 
now you've gone through the whole process with the flex lead, even though you, you know, understand that process at a very high level. Uh, it's really cool to see you on that. And so great job to both of you guys. And let's continue cruising on. Next up, Anna Pacheco got in contract for 805, Kevin Bowie 833 for another flex deal, and Andrea Lamadora and Sunny Wong got in contract for 870. Mama San, I'm going to actually go over to you. Talk to us about this deal. Talk to us about your strategy, what you're seeing, what you experience, and how you got this client in the contract. Let's go over to you. Right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, so these clients were good friends of mine from college. They've been watching me on social media. Originally, they wanted to, they thought they had to sell their home first. Um, found out that we were able to... I just got them back. Uh, hold on, uh, Dennis, hold on. Dennis, can you mute yourself? Thanks, brother. Awesome. Go ahead. Um, so we were, we thought we had to sell their house first in order to buy, but actually they had enough equity in their home to buy first. So, um, first house that we wrote on wasn't able to get into contract. It was the home that the wife really wanted. It was next to her best friend. They were bummed about it. Went out the next week, uh, showed them five properties and the property I showed them was originally listed at a million. Um, and we got them, uh, locked in at 870. Yeah, I love this. And so did you say that they saw you on social media? Yes. They we've been like watching each other, watching to you know, kids grow, that kind of thing. And um yeah, they were like, We see what you're doing, Andrea, and we want to work with you. And um, yeah, let's do it. So I love it. I love it. Well, congratulations to you. Another, you know, great message of why your visibility counts so much because you don't know who's watching and how long they're watching and what they're watching. So great stuff. I love it. Congratulations. Real quick too. Shout out to Sonny too, because he made this deal happen and he's a great partner to work with. So thanks, Sonny. Yeah, yes. Great job to both of you. Let's continue cruising on. Um, next up on the list is Kuhn. Um, I think we have a mishap here that says Sonny and Kuhn, but that's Joseph's picture. So we'll make sure to fix that. We apologize, you guys. 1.240 uh, um, is Kuhn in the office. And then Jing Feng for 1.250. So congratulations to this group of people as well. We'll make sure to get that fixed before we send it out to the team. Kuhn, are you on? One, two, three. All right, cool. We're going to keep Kuhn's at appointment in Vallejo. Get more business. All right, All right, perfect. Thank you. Awesome. So you guys, last week, you guys were able to put up eight new escrows. Now, this is a slower week. And so I want you guys to really look at yourself. When we go back to like the lead generation, what is working and what is missing? And then the systems, what is working, and what is missing? Um, a team of our size and the talent that we have, there's no reason why we're only putting up eight escrows. So let's turn up the intensity this week. Let's call it an off week and let's do everything that we can to get that number back into the double digits. Um, so let's go to our story of the week. So uh, Catherine, I'll come to you in a, in a few moments. Let me just make sure I keep this flow. So Musa got into contract. Musa is a generally new agent. He's up in our Sacramento market. He's pending for 525. He's a contributor in our Sacramento community. He's growth minded. So I don't see him on the call today, but huge shout out to you, Musa. Congratulations. And I think this was his first solo deal. So congratulations to you. All right, looking ahead, you guys. A couple of reminders for everybody. If you, uh, let's do this. Here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to grab your cell phones right now. And I want you to hover over this QR code. Now, we always talk about trends and what's working on social media and things that you guys can be doing. And we talk heavily about the power of social media. And it's something that we will always talk about. But what we want to do is we want to make all this information that we cover super, super easy to access. So if you hover over that, and I'll drop it in the chat below as well, that way everybody has the document. What you'll find, thank you, Molly. What you'll find is this document is your cheat code. And this is your cheat code to, oh, sorry, that's the wrong link. I'll put the right link in. This is your cheat code to all the trends that are happening on social media. So what you do is you take that audio, you take the idea and say, hmm, how can I apply this to things that I'm doing? How can I use that hook? How can I use that audio to make it, you know, speak from my language of how I'm creating on social media? So every single week, we're going to give you guys the social media cheat code. Now, you're either going to do one or two things with it. You're either going to take and say, you know what, I'm going to put this in action, or you're just going to sit on this information. That choice is yours, you guys. But we want to make sure that every single week, you guys have this cheat code. So I'll make sure to drop it in the chat below. Um, but do you guys find that this is helpful? Do you guys like that? Give me a thumbs up. Give me some emojis on the screen. You guys with this? All right, cool. Appreciate that. 
uh, and I'll make sure to drop it in the um, chat down below. All right, Molly, I'm going to actually turn the mic over to you. I want to talk a little bit about the Rookie Invitational. I'm going to grab that document, and I'm going to throw it in the chat while I turn the mic briefly over to you. Um, I mean, nothing new, same as last week. Um, super fun event. We got quite a few folks joining us. So if you're new to real estate, need a refresher, need to re-up your contacts, connections with other professionals in the industry, uh, March 28th is where you need to be in Oakland. So, yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. So I just dropped this file down below. As you guys can see, um, you can see the content suggestion. You can see the sample reference. You can download the audio. This is something that you guys are going to see weekly. So make sure that you have that. I see everyone getting into the document right now. I love it. And then let's go back into the slides here. Full screen here. Boom. All right, guys. So if we don't get more signups for this, then unfortunately, we'll ha probably have to push this event. But if you have some talent, you think you got some talent, you can sing, you can dance, you can play a guitar, I don't care what it is, uh, make sure to sign up for our Team Fast Talent Show. Uh, we'd love to see a big crowd come out for this, but if we don't get the, uh, you know, the, the number that we want for attendees, then we'll just push this event for later down the road. I do have a question for everybody on the call. Is anybody on this call, has anybody in this, on the call played any amount of softball in their life. Please raise your hand if you've played softball. You consider yourself okay of a player. Vernon, you better be throwing your hands up. I know you're used to the baseball, but I'm sure you can hit a softball pretty well. I was going to say there's a huge difference between baseball and softball. <laughs> well, of course there is. Down for the softball question. <laughs> you still, you still got to swing the same, right? You still got to feel the same. There you go, coach. I'm going to contribute. I'm a contributor today. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's what we want to do. And this is just framework. I'm thinking probably end of April, early uh, May. Here's what I'm thinking, you guys. We should do a Battle of the Bay tournament, a softball tournament, right? We go against teams like, uh, I don't know, Sequoia. We go up against teams like the Bill Davis team. And we go up against, uh, you know, somebody I didn't tear. I don't know. Let's do a Battle of the Bay you know, softball tournament, we all come together, we have some fun. Um, and maybe there's an entry fee and all that money that we earn goes to a local charity of our choice. I'm just throwing some ideas out there. Nothing set in stone. Just want to see if I have some ballers on the team that are willing to come out and play. It will be co-ed. We'll have some fun, but we will not have a keg on second base. It is not that, <laughs> it is not that type of game, but I think that it would be fun. Um, I don't know if my insurance will cover the injuries. That's all right. Just root us on, <laughs> Molly, root us on. But I think this would be fun. We've never done anything like this. And I think that we would go out there and we would win. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Vernon can help me because he knows how to run baseball leagues. And so just throwing it out there. I want to see if I have some interest. I'm down. Okay, cool. We'll put some stuff in the works. But before we go any further, Catherine, I think she had a question or a contribution. I don't know if she hopped off. Um, no, I just I just had a question. Um, it's about like the branding and like the systems, everything like that. I was wondering if we can like set a timeout because like I'm still so new. I don't have like any systems or anything like really in place like that. All right, so two things. So first off, you're going to have an onboarding orientation with Drea. Uh, we call her like our onboarding concierge to help you get acclimated with our tool. Oh, no. system. oh yes, yes, yes. I, I already had that and everything like that, but just more of like running myself more like a business in a way. Cool. Let's do this then. Um, make sure to book a time on my calendar. You and I can hop on a quick coaching call to kind of dissect some of that. So we'll take that conversation <laughs> offline. Mm -hmm. Um, so I will send you my calendar. Right. Just call EliasStudio.com. Okay. All right. All right, cool. Anybody else have any contributions, any thoughts, anything that they want to share with the group? Kenny, anything um, harmonious quotes or anything that you'd like to share with the group? No, just want to watch out for like a lot of more local events. Make sure, make sure masterminds, brand on that stuff that we're going to be planning. Um, I asked Elias, post on facebook to ask the local community there's like 300,000 members in there to see who would like to start doing local masterminds and then i don't think i don't think we and they'll be rolling across different cities i don't think we can participate in all of them so we'll love to bring it to your attention so you can come uh, represent yourselves and share your ideas with other agents in the marketplace so we we're trying to stack there's a lot of energy back in market i was just in Kabul last week i was at the top 100 esp mastermind in dallas yesterday 
Uh, the market's coming back pretty strong. People are super excited about it. So you definitely want to be out there and take advantage of it. Yeah, and you guys, it's literally going to be this. People are going to show up with a pen, a paper, maybe grab a coffee, grab a beer. We're going to sit around. We're just going to talk about whatever that topic is. We're not going to have slides. We're not going to have a whiteboard. We're just going to sit there and wrap and talk about, you know, what's going on in the market. We're going to truly have a mastermind. And so I'm actually excited about that. You'll see that on my, my Facebook today. If you know somebody or if you yourself want to participate in your city, uh, just go ahead and drop your name in that in that uh, post. But uh, is there anything else before we cut out? No? All right, cool. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, let's go, Jay. Hey, team. I believe today's Kevin Bowie's birthday. Awesome. Well, Kevin Bowie, I don't know if he's on today, but happy birthday, Bowie. We love you, my man. Appreciate that, Jay. It's also my birthday. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's happy birthday, Jay. Happy birthday, Jay. I love it. I love it. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Jay. Happy birthday. happy birthday, Kevin. Is there anybody else's birthday today? No, okay, cool. Listen, you guys, for all the parents out there that are dealing with spring break this week, I get it. There's tons of things going on in your household. Still try to stay focused. Let's move those numbers back from eight into the double digits because that's the team that we are. Let's call last week an off week. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for coaching, for Hustlers Lunch. I'll be in the office all day. We have a giant mastermind in the office this week for all of our top Zillow leaders. So we're going to be in the office all week. So excited to see everybody. If you need anything. Oh, you know this is random. Sorry. Uh, I don't know you guys know Connor Renane. He does a lot of video content creation shooting. He's going to be in the office today at one. Just so you guys want to stay around and say hi. Yeah, pick his brain too. He's got some really, really great ideas for social. So, uh, Elias, speaking of uh, the mastermind on Thursday, so the Thursday, the office is open. We somewhat limited the conference rooms will be taken. Um, so, we'll only be the open space. So, if you have any meetings, um, I recommend uh, moving that to a different office or taking over Zoom. So, the middle conference room, the large conference room, the event space, fast food will all be unavailable on Thursday. Perfect. From 10 to 5. Perfect. And you guys, in regards to this, I want to thank everybody uh, for coming to the crushing open house dialogue, the, the coming to for coming to the working with buyers workshop and then lights, camera action. You guys are showing up in a really, really big way. And then what we've seen after lights, camera action is that your guys' um, video submissions have gone up. So if you're in the office and if you're that person that just hasn't sat in the office, I'm going to give a shout out to Timothy Shen. So Timothy, last week, created a video. His video, he felt so, that video felt so relaxed. He was just talking to the camera, doing his thing. And I thought it was a great video. So you have to start somewhere. You have this resource. Just go in there, close the door, and just hit record. I promise you something good will come out. And then send it to the shredders. Let them do what they're great at. So I love seeing people step up, get out of their comfort zone. You guys have that resource available to you maximize that, send it to the shredders, and let's get all of our faces out there to really own our fame. So you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you to all of our new team members. Um, looking forward to seeing you guys this week. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Peace.